Welcome to more Pokemon Sun! Last time we cleared out Route 8 and the second half, or I guess the top half of Route 5, making our way to the Lush Jungle, the place where we're gonna have our next island island trial. So let's go and do that, Crud. Here we go. Oh, well, there's Mallow herself. That's who we're looking for. That's the trial we're going to be doing. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lush Jungle, the trial grounds for me, Mallow. I knew it the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen only the finest ingredients. That's why I'm gonna make you help me. Er, no. I mean, that's why you should try my trial. You are the one who got a sparkling stone straight from Tapu Koko, aren't you? Ah, uh, you're so totally ready for this. Ah, the breath of the jungle. I can tell just what today's special should be. I'm guessing she's kind of the cooking obsessed character. All right. Yup, it's gotta be. My personal specialty, the Mallow Special. I swear if this is just a bunch of roasted marshmallows. I mean, it sounds tasty, but I mean, it's not that special, is it? I'm gonna need you to find four ingredients for me. Wood? No, it's, it's no wood. We're not gonna eat wood. I'll need a mango berry, t a tiny mushroom, a revival herb, and a miracle seed. I've already got a miracle seed, so we'll see if we can just, uh... Give her that one. Here you go, I brought you a forage bag to hold all the ingredients gathered for your trial. Alrighty, so I guess trial begin. Here comes the forage bag covered in beads and crud. Yep. If you put the trial ingredients in your own bag, they'd get mixed up with your stuff, right? When you're hunting for ingredients, you're gonna want to rely on Stoutland's help. I'll find things that you don't see, or it'll find things you don't see after all. Remember that, uh, oh yeah, you, just, you press the B button, Stoutland can search around. Okay, one more time, four things. We gotta get a Mago Berry, a Tiny Mushroom, a Revival Herb, and a Miracle Seed. Got it! It's time for Mallow's Trial to begin! Alright! So it's not gonna be like Kiawe's Trial, where it was just the one battle, pretty much. Uh, well, I guess let's get Stoutland out and start sniffing around and see if we can find anything. Of course, it's not gonna be that obvious, is it? Mallow's special tip! Stoutland is the best. He's a real pro when it comes... Okay, we already, we already know that Stoutland's gonna be helpful here. And it looks like there's gonna be our first hidden item right there! There are some mushrooms sprouting in the soil. Uh, we needed the tiny one? I can't remember. I think I might have gooped on that crud. But the big mushroom attacked. Oh no! I hate when that happens. And I guess the big mushroom is actually a parasect. Um, I don't know how good Grimgram's gonna be at taking this guy down. I guess I'll give it a shot. We'll just go with some Poison Fang and see what happens. But I should probably use Tommy for this one. That would probably be a lot better. Oh wait! Never mind. This is great. Poison is fantastic. Grimgram, you the best, man. Let's go for a second Poison Fang and let's just get this guy taken down. Ha <laughs> ha, we got him! Taking him down with no false DMCA claims required. We got Frank up to level 27 and someone else leveled up. I kind of missed who it was. Well, we're done with that one. I hope the tiny mushroom was what I needed there. Hey, it's me, Mallow. Oh, a tiny mushroom? That's great. There's a secret to why they're so popular with some people. You'll have to try one to find out what it is. I don't want to try to eat your, ma your magic mushrooms, dude. Okay, so we still need three more items right here. That one's done. Let's go check out, I guess, up here. I'm thinking the items are going to be in corners, so we probably don't have to do too much outside of the corners. Many Pokemon love berries, so be sure to add them to your cooking whenever you can. Okie dokie. I'm sure there's some cool new Pokemon we can catch here, but I'm feeling like making some progress today rather than trying to grind out new Pokemon, so we'll come back here later in the game and try to catch some stuff. So let's see what just jumped out of the tree at me. It is a Fomantis, okay. Um, I guess I'm just gonna kill this real quick. Well, I killed the dude. Let me see if we get anything for doing that. Uh, I guess we just get the ability to look over here. Oh wait, secret item right there, sparklies. We get some honey. Honey, uh, I don't think I really need that. There's a berry bird in the ground. We need Mago Berry. Okay, they didn't make us decide and potentially mess up. So there we go, the second item is done. Hey, it's me, Mallow. Yeah, I, my memory's not that short. I mean, my memory's pretty bad. It's not that bad. I didn't forget your name already. Still two more ingredients to find. Okay, we still need the Miracle Seed and whatever the other thing was. Over there is a TM, but how do we get back there? Uh, there might be some secret tunnel we can use or some crud. Yeah, let's just go back this way and we'll check out across the grass right here. I think I want to go up this little hill. Let's see if there's anything cool up here. Oh, more side paths. Okay, that works. And this sign, is it going to say anything? Special tip, when Pokemon bury seeds in the ground, they gain an especially rich and complex flavor. Okay. Let's go sniffing around here and see if we can find ourselves anything. Oh, there's something over in this direction. Where are you? Where are you? Down to the south, it looks like. Uh, we might have to use some turbo charge. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. We can't deal with those giant blocks right there yet. Maybe someday we'll be able to push those, but... That day is probably not today. Well, let's go over this way. Wait, wait, wait. 
we kind of passed up on the item. Of course, there's still an item back here. It might not be what we're looking for, but it's got to be something. Where are you? Somewhere. There it is. We got... Okay, that is the Miracle Seed. So that's one of the items we needed. There's one more to go. And I did say my memory is pretty bad, so I don't remember what it is. Miracle Seeds are bursting with nutrition. They really are a miraculous gift from the jungle. Just one last ingredient left. Go back out there and find it. Okay, I'm guessing the north area is probably going to be what we have to do. I, I don't think they would hide two items in the same little area here. Oh, I guess I'll just jump down and find a big root. I don't think that's what I was looking for. Let's keep sniffing. Uh, nothing up here. So we're back where we started. Let's go to the north this time. So we'll go across like that, and then we'll go up. And I think this will bring us to the area we have to go to next. We got another sign, probably another mallow tip. Uh, mallow special tip. Revival herbs and shorter are shorter than nearby gra uh, grasses. And they revive whoever eats them, so they are great to add to any dish. I guess you can feed it to dead people. Uh, it's a patch of rather suspicious looking grass. Will you pull it up? Sure, let's see what it is. Okay, we do get the revival herb right there, and it's in the forage bag. A Pokemon leaped out of the grass to attack. Who could it be this time? It's another Fomantis. Haha, -ha, we've done it. Hey, it's me, Mallow. That's a fine revival herb. It's bitter bite. It's even a shock to Pokemon, but that's what will add depth to the flavor. Ooh, looks like you got everything. Just please don't do any food gasms like they do in gosh dang. What is it even called? Food Wars, I guess? I don't remember the uh, Japanese name, but the food gasms are a little ridiculous. Okay, it's time for us to start cooking, so come on back to the entrance of the jungle. I kind of wanted to explore a little bit more. Uh, let's see if we can find anything more. Yep, there's a tunnel right here, so let's go see if we can go through and grab that TM. Yep, we sure can, and this one is going to be TM86, Grass Knot. Well, it's better than Slipknot. I actually kind of like Slipknot. Let's get out our Stetland, though, and see if there's anything hidden. Nope. I'm also gonna check in this area. Oh, yep, there's something. Something somewhere. Let's sniff over this way, Stoutland. We got this, crud man. Oh, it's probably gonna be right in this little area here. Where are you? How many secret items can there be? Or is there just one really far away? Come on. There it is. Okay, we've got a Hyper Potion. Yeah, there's another item, so there was actually two items. Oh, it's right here. Uh, I guess I'll pull it up, but it's probably... Yeah, it's another Fomantis! Oh my gosh, there's still another item somewhere, and this one's a heal powder. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done with items, right, dude? Yeah, it looks like that's everything. Wait, nope, there's still something. And it's another Fomantis. Fomantis is awesome as heck, though. I, I like them a lot. Do you guys like Fomantis or, or Bound Sweet better? I don't know, man. They're both so cool. All right, so we've got all the ingredients. Let's go back and see if we can cook up something real nice. Here we go. I guess we'll just go talk to Mallow here and see what happens. Hey, Psycho. Great. Now that we've got all the ingredients we just need... Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh-oh, we got Kiawe and Lana. How are you, Mallow? Um, I guess the gang's all here. I really hope they don't team up on me. And they've also got the red, blue, and green colors, so it's kind of like old school Pokemon, but it's also kind of like, I guess, primary colors. But it's also kind of like the goddesses from uh, Zelda. And I brought you some fresh water and the usual rocky helmet. Please don't tell me you eat people's helmets. Thanks, Lana. Thanks, Galway. Now we've got everything we need. You're up next, Psycho. We're going to cook up a storm and lure out the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. Oh, great. Let me see what you've got for me. One Mago Berry, check. One Tiny Mushroom, check. One Revival Herb, check. One Miracle Seed, check. Perfect! Just the recipe for the culture. Now we can make the Mallow special. Well, I'm glad to know at the very least it's not just a bunch of marshmallows. So, we are ready to start cooking. Let's do it. Bring it on, Mallow. Bring on your worst challenges. Maybe your best one? Flip that rocky helmet over and let's pour that fresh water into it. They're gonna use a helmet as a mixing bowl. Then in the go- oh, the- blech. Then in go the Mago Berry, the Tiny Mushroom, the Revival of the Miracle Stream. Kiawe, let us use the Thick Club at that rare bone for a minute. Or, end that rare bone. Here you are. I don't know why my, my reading is like- a solid C minus right now. Okay, Psycho, grab the thick club and the rare bone and pound it all to a pulp. I never thought you would ask me to grab your thick club and pound it, but okay. Press A to pound the ingredients. Oh, what the heck am I pounding right now? This is just an appropriate mallow. Crush it. I'm doing it. I'm crushing it. Yeah. I feel like I'm playing some kind of weird dating sim. Grind it. I'm good at grinding it. Let's go, man. Okay. Is that all? Turn it to goo. Gosh dang. I guess she likes it really hard. There we go. We just pounded that crud so hard. A unique aroma begins to waft around the area. Oh gosh, we got Wario coming in here wafting his, his little fart gases. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbrush. Uh-oh, not the underbrush. Anything but that. Uh-oh. Let me guess. 
Yeah, there it is. Oh, is it bacon legs? I think it is. That thing is huge. Okay, it's actually not that big. It kind of reminded me of the Mantis thing from Fantasy Star Online from the cave area for a second. Lurantis, the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle, has appeared. Well, I guess let's see if Grimgram can take him, dude. Now, here's the thing with Grimgram. They're not as good at special attacking, but I'm getting kind of low on Poison Fang, so I've got Acid Spray as well. But the thing about Acid Spray is it can actually lower their special defense a lot. So if we get lucky and get that, then we could just keep spamming that and get some huge damage off of it. So I guess we're going to go ahead and try that. Let's go ahead and try for some Acid Spray. We will get the Quick Claw so we get to go first, which is very nice. And let's see if we can get that stat drop right here. We do. I don't know if it happens every time or if we just got lucky, but it drops it by two levels. So the next one's going to hit really hard here. They're going to call for an ally Pokemon, and we'll see if they actually get anything here. They do. Oh, they get Trumbeak. Okay. Well, I'm going to do another Acid Spray on the Lurantis there, and we'll see if we can take them down. Grimgram, probably going to have to swap out. Lots of lag going on. Whenever there's more than two Pokemon on screen, it tends to lag quite a bit. They're going to go for a Solar Blade right here, so if I don't kill them, they're probably going to kill me pretty soon. Wait. Oh, crud! They used a Power Herb, so they get to charge it up in one turn. I'm dead. I am so dead. That sucks, man. But we did lower their special defense, so we can still take advantage of that. I guess with... Man. No one. I guess Tommy, maybe. Because Frank's not going to do special. Repia and Pooplio are not going to be very effective, so I guess it's got to be Tommy. Small problem. Tommy is low on HP, and he's my lowest level guy here. And also, I don't know if he's even going to go first. So we'll just go with Ember, and we'll use that on Lurantis. And see if we can one-shot him from here, I guess. It just has to actually load the attacks real quick. He's going to use X-Scissor. I might just die instantly. And... No, we do survive. So Tommy's going to go before Trumbeak and get some good damage in there. Not as much as we need to actually kill the guy, but... Still, thanks for the help, Tommy. You put in some work. I guess we're going to go with Repia. I could use... Oh, right. Spark's going to be good against uh, against Trumbeak, at least. Right, I've got Acrobatics. I could just use that. I don't know if it's physical, though, so it might not get the special defense advantage. Now it's physical, so it won't get the advantage from that crud. But I guess Bug Bite would actually be even better. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll use some Bug Bite right here, so we won't get advantage of the special stuff. That's kind of why I wanted to use Spark. I think Spark's special. I don't even know, man, but... We should be fine. They're going to heal up right here, but Bug Bite's just going to do some huge damage, so I think it'll be fine. Out comes Supersonic. We will be confused. Maybe I should kill off Trumbeak first, but then they'll probably just keep calling for more help. We do get through, though. Come on. Okay. Well, we got a critical right there. I guess I kind of overcomplicated things by trying to avoid Repia. I was just really trying to take advantage of that special defense drop that we got. But, oh well. Is Spark... Let me check. Is Spark even physical? It is, so... Spark would not have been good anyways. Anyways, let's go for Spark on Trumbeak. I need you all to do me a favor. Just pretend that I made lots of smart decisions in that fight right there. No bad decisions at all. There we go. We got level 29 on Refia. The battle's over, and that's going to be the third trial. The third and final trial, I should say. Complete for Akala Island. Heck yeah. Give me my reward, Mallow. Probably going to get another Z crystal here. Wow, Psycho, you're strong, huh? You were, uh, were really able to draw out the flavor of your Pokemon. Ew, I am not going to taste my Pokemon. The totem Pokemon bowed right down to you. Yes, even back at Whale of Akalapa, my vaunted Salazzle didn't stand a chance. Nor did the wishy-washy that I had trained so carefully. All right, you've cleared all three of Alcala's trials. You even managed to get through my trial, and I'd say it's a real doozy. Here, a gift for such an inspiring young trainer. Ooh. Here's the Z-Crystal. Which one is it going to be this time? Maybe they've already told us what it is. Oh, duh. obviously it's going to be the grass one. So I think that this island is kind of built to give you the grass, water, and fire stones. So that way, no matter what starter you picked, you're going to get your Z-Crystal here, you know? I just got lucky that I chose water, so I got mine very early on. But yeah, I think that's what this is for. So we got the Z-Crystal from Mallow. Let me show you how to use grass-type Z-Moves. You go like, grass! Okay, all right then. Mallow is uh, very eccentric. I think she's pretty cute, though. I, I like her. Since you've cleared my trial, Psycho, I want you to help me train some Pokemon from here in Lush Jungle. Here, have some Nest Balls. All right, so we could catch some, a bunch of Pokemon here if I wanted to. Like I said, I'll be coming back here a little bit later on. Hmm, looks like Lorantis didn't finish all the food. Oh, I really want you guys to try some. Have a bite, Kiawe. You too, Lana. Why do I feel like this is going to be disgusting? Lick? 
Don't lick it, Lana. What the, why are you licking the bones? What the crud? The flavor from the rare bone seems to fill my whole mouth. Yeah, I guess that kind of happens when you lick the bone. It tastes so good, you might melt. No, wait. Is that my tongue that's melting? Uh-oh, is it really spicy? Uh-oh. Uh, it, it's so... Spicy! I, I kind of like spicy food myself. What? What's wrong with you guys? Don't you have any taste? Not anymore. You kind of burnt off their taste buds. Are you headed off to Olivia's for the one grand trial? Grand trial? Good reading, Psycho. Olivia's for the grand trial. Yes, I did it! I read words, guys! Alright, so we got that done. Suddenly, Professor Kukui... Whoa! What's that sweet smell I smell drifting my way? Could it be a tasty mallow special? It's probably more of a spicy mallow special here. I heard you cleared Mallow's trial, yeah? Alright, then I have a present for you. That little TM right there is Smart Strike, a move that will never miss. So it's kind of like Swift, I guess. I wonder if that's a fighting attack, because that would be really good to have on Stuffle if it is, because they're part fighting. There will be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter, like light bulbs. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's go down over there with extreme speed. Alright, let's go check it out, dude. So, I guess we're done with Lush Jungle. So they don't even let you have the time to go to catch stuff here, or do they? Hey there, Psycho, I guess I should congratulate you on clearing all three of Alcala uh, Island's trout. Blech. Congrats. Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's Grand Trial. Olivia is an expert user of Rock-type Pokemon, and you're going to want to catch some Grass-type Pokemon in Lush Jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready for the Grand Trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah, but just ask Rotom if you need some help. Alrighty, sounds good. So I guess we could do go do that. Okay, so right here you could go back and uh, catch some stuff if you want, but let's go check out the lab. I mean, we've been there before, so I, I know where it is. Well, here we are. Oh, there's Lily. Go, Nebby. Use, use Splash. Lily, you need to step up your Pokemon training game. You never use Splash. I guess maybe unless it's a Z move that they add. Huh, I was just acting like I was Psycho. I guess she's trying to cosplay me. You got probably gonna want some more orange there. You, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers or thought that I would want to be one myself, but when I see Psycho and how, especially Psycho, it's like they've thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. They stride straight through it into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. <laughs> Nebby is just like, he's just an emoticon basically, he's just a smiley face. Pew? Well, Nebby's just gonna wander off. Oh, hey Lily, how's it going? Long time no see. Um, oh, Psycho, hello! I feel like it's been a while since we last met. The, there's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. Uh, how, how are your trials? It must be quite trying to do three in a row. It was no problem. I'm so cool, dude. It was so easy, man. Goodness, really? It wasn't any trouble for you to tackle all three of Akala's island trials? I suppose that explains it. The reason you look so content and understand by and understood by Grimer there, I mean. I guess she noticed my Grimer, that's awesome. I'm glad Grimgram finally got some screen time today, because I feel like I haven't really used him that much. So I really wanted to have an episode where I just kind of focus on him. I've already been back there, so let's go inside the actual place right here and, uh, well, see what's inside. Uh, well, we can actually go over this way now. Dimensional research, huh? That reminds me of something I heard about, some rare Pokemon that can use rings to teleport itself through space. I don't know who he's talking about. I probably should know, but I don't. But let's go check out this elevator and see how many floors we have to explore. Hopefully they don't pull, uh, pull like a Silph's Code thing on us, but we really gotta explore. No, it's, it's just floor three here. I don't know why we can't go to the second floor, but okay. And over here is Professor Kukui. I just warped right over. Hey there, honey. Oh, okay, for a second there I thought he was flirting with Lily. I was gonna beat him up. Oh, hi. So I guess you've got like Kukui's wife or something. This here is Professor Burnett. She likes to burn all the things. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab. Yeah. And she's also my wife. Hey there. Um, hopefully she's not as odd as Kukui. You're psycho, right? Lily told me about you. Lily was talking about me? She said you were the reliable sort. Oh, I'm deaf. I'm very reliable. Yes. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag, also unconscious. <laughs> of course, Nebby was in the bag. Hmm? No how today? No, how's probably some loser trying to still complete the third trial or something. He's out doing his own thing, but he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna just like old Hala before him. 
You really think so? Gosh dang it, Hal. Whoa! Well, yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought Psycho here because I wanted you to tell him about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean the Ultra Wormhole. Oh gosh, I hate Ultra Wormholes. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. Oh, I thought you were talking about, like, the holes in apples that worms make. Okay, this is something completely different. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. <laughs> Pew! It's very weak, it's proof, but I can't ignore it. There's also plenty of evidence that already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Yeah, there's the first dimension and the second dimension, even the third dimension! Even a fourth one if you count the dimension of time! Fearsome Pokémon? Even normal wild Pokémon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokémon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called... Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are to be believed, the guardian deities of the islands fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. Okay then, let's talk to everybody! Uh, Kukui won't let me leave until I talk to everyone else, I guess. There was a man named Moan who years ago published his theory about the Ultra Wormholes. Oh, I thought he was going to give me more info than that. Professor Burnett was previously studying a dimensional space called the Inter-Dream Zone. I like to call that sleep. Oh, there's some info on Palkia and Bronzong. Mag? You're not a Magmar. Hey, Nebby. How's it going, Lily? Oh, we get a special cutscene for talking to her. You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to come to pr uh, speak to Professor Burnett, but I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all. And then she even got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend his, uh, to, me, let, to lend me his loft to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins, too. So that explains why Lily was staying with uh, Kukui at the start of the game. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me try to find my way to get, or a way to get Nebby back to its own home. Uh, where does Nebby even live? Is he, like, from space or some crud? She's been, like, like a real mother to me, not a fake one. All right, then. Well, let's go talk to her, I guess. Actually, let's go talk to Slowpoke. Po Po Po, the deepest and most intellectual conversation I've ever had in a Pokemon game. All right, let's talk to her. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. Oh, okay, I guess I just had to talk to Lily probably and then I can leave here. So now let's go talk to Kukui. How about that, Psycho? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kind of moves they can use. You finished all three of Akala's trials, woo! And now comes the big match against Olivia, the island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all here on Akala, the Grand Trial! Good luck. Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel. It's in Kony Kony City. But watch out for Team Skull! I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. I'm off to check out Diglett's Tunnel next. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon, right? I guess it is. As soon as I exited, there's a little cutscene right here. Please don't have Team Skull pop out of nowhere. Oh! Oh, crud! We got Ultra Wormholes! I think the Ultra Beast might randomly appear right here. Well, what was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. Not not the butt kind, it's just... Yeah, anyways. Well, I don't know what that was. Hey, Psycho! So you've made it through all three Captain's Trials, yeah? Then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past Diglett's Tunnel. Diglett's Tunnel is, uh, let's see. From here, it's kind of near the PMC. It's easy to walk right past it, though, so keep your eyes peeled. I've already been there before, and Olivia herself was kind of blocking me. But now that she's gone, I guess we can go through. Well, here we are inside Diglett's Tunnel, and there's Olivia! Hey, since you're already here, why don't you go ahead and battle me? So, how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Yeah, so she's gonna check, and she'll see that we passed all three of the trials here. It's about time you had some fun with me. Ooh, the Diglett have settled down, too. If you are as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Kony Kony City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. Don't tell me she runs like an olive shop, dude. I don't want to go through here just to battle you. Wait, she said the Diglett calmed down. What the heck am I going to fight here now? Uh, 
More Diglett. And Grim Graham is now dead. Well, I, I don't really need any Diglett, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some repels here. Okay, now that we're equipped with repels, we can actually get through here somewhat reasonably. Let's go see if there's any kind of hidden item over on this side. Oh, I didn't expect to find trainers inside here, but I guess there is one right there. Now, for this area, I don't really think that I want to be using my uh, Grim Graham up front, so let's swap him out. Let's go ahead and put Pupleo back up front. Pupleo really does not need the experience, but I, I think it's the most fitting Pokemon to use in this area. So let's go battle this guy. I don't think I've ever battled a guy that looks like this. Whether in battles or in digging tunnels, Pokemon are incredible. Worker Frank! Oh my gosh, it's Frank, dude! We could have battled Frank with Frank, but I guess we're gonna battle Frank with Pupleo. Banjo, level 22. The same is true for my Pokemon, but your Pokemon, incredible. Let's sniff around as well. And it looks like there's nothing really here, so I guess that's it for this side. Unless we can go down this way. Oh, that's like a return path. Okay, so let's go check out the other side here first. And once again, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna sniff all over the place, but that's just kind of how I roll. Looks like we have not a trainer here. Looks like you're a fellow trainer who can use Z-Power in battle. Let's find out whose full force strength is uh, the fullest. Beat all the trainers in this tunnel. Okay, this is one of those beat everyone else and then come back and fight me kind of guys. So we'll have to maybe do that at some point. But we'll just keep going. We've got some stairs over on this side. Some rocks to break down with our Tauros charge. And over on here, we've got a Firestone. So we can evolve an Eevee into a Flareon with that one. Very nice. And nothing really down here. Let me do some sniffing. Yeah, I had a feeling. There it is. We've got an X attack. Man, regular repels wore, uh, wear off so quickly. But we're going to go up the stairs here and see what is on the other side. Oh, looks like we've got some Aether Foundation people here. Phew. With Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against those Diglett. Oh, hey there. Oh, Alola. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon conservation. Then why were you guys beating up those Diglett? It seems like Team Skull was responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up and bringing them all up to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is this group of troublemakers, you see. Yeah, I've dealt with them. They're kind of a bunch of losers. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Is that really their objective? Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We are here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. I guess that's a pretty noble goal. Some of the Diglett are still stuck on or near the surface though, so be careful. Uh, I've got repels, we'll be fine. How do repels even work? Does this make you smell really bad so nothing wants to come near you? Well, over here we do have an item. We got a Hyper Potion, and I'm just sniffing around. We've got something over here. Oh, there's a Zygarde cell at least. Oh, and Alyssa, we've got a trainer as well. So much stuff happening over here. We got the trainer, we've got a uh, hidden item, and a Zygarde cell. It's crazy. Worker Vaclav. He's got him a chop. I guess it's, at least it's not a Diglett, right? Grim Graham, level 28. Your power is beyond what I imagined. Yeah, I've got just the most insane power level. Power level 15 right here. Well, let's see if we can actually find this hidden item we're looking for. Somewhere around here. I think this guy's like on top of it or something though. Move it, loser! Well, I guess at least I can get the Zygarde cell, but that's kind of annoying that this guy's like blocking that hidden item. Oh, I went to the south just a little bit and... Oh my gosh, we've got Team Skull. Oh, no way! Just when things were starting to heat up, yo, I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo! Yo, since when can Diglett use beat up? Yo, I'm so mad that I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be here right now. Psycho. Oh, I think we might have a dual battle with Howl coming up right here. Oh, I was wondering who you were playing around with without me, and it's Team Skull. Yeah, these guys always seem to pop up. You want some? That's how we say hello. Nice knowing you, punks. Yo, yeah, this battle, a Team Skull battle right here. It's going to be a dual battle, I'm pretty sure. And it's going to be against Team Skull Grunt and Team Skull Grunt. Each of them has just one Pokemon here. So let's go beat them up. We've got our strongest Pokemon, Pupleo, up front. And they've got a Salandit, which is going to be very easy for me to take down with Pupleo. And because he's probably going to use his Litten, or no, he's going to use Pikachu. Oh, what a nerd. You could have used the Fire type on that, uh, on the Fomantis there. Look at that frame rate. Holy cow. Uh, let's use Water Pledge on Salandit here. His Pikachu is doing some quick attack action. Yeah, that would have been a lot better if he used his, uh, what was it called, Toracat? I can't remember the middle form name for, for Litten, but I think it was Toracat. But we got one down at least, right? Oh, Razor Leaf, that's gonna hurt. That didn't hurt that much, actually. We're fine. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and use Disarming Voice. I don't know if that's the best choice. Oh, that could have hit both. I didn't know Disarming Voice did that. Probably would have been a better choice, but oh well. Let's hope we can do more damage than this Pikachu does. And we got it! Very nice! I don't think the Sarming Voice is going to also hit Pikachu, so we're good here. And there you go! We beat him! 
Are we headed to the grave, yo? Will our bones be laid bare, yo? The gloom that unfolds us like fog. We can't seem to shake it off. Oh, I guess only the dude says yo. It's not really her thing as well. Okay, then. We got these losers taken care of. Yo, step off. Oh, I guess she does say yo. Enough with the beating up, yo. Get out of here, you losers. We, name we may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as bone out here. Very hard bones indeed. See you on the flip side. Get out of here. Smell you later. Married Psycho, when I fight with you, it's like even my Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. I, uh, I guess so. That's it. I've just got to give you something. Wow. We get a Max Ether. Thanks, Hal. Uh, Max Ethers will restore all the PP to one of your Poke uh, one of your moves. You know, pretty great, right? It is pretty great. Now I'm gonna go have some more fun with those Diglett. See ya. What are you doing with the Diglett, Hal? I'm guessing I have to go south here. So let me explore the rest of the cave first. Oh, we do have an item. Where are you? Oh, it's probably still inside the dude. Oh, I, I can get it, I can get it. We got a nugget, okay. And there is this little path down here. I don't think I checked this out before, so let's go see what this is. Oh, we got some ambushing Pokemon, I guess. And let's see if we've got any Sniffy Sniffies as well. Not quite. I don't know if I want to get ambushed right here. Looks like we got something we can push once we get strength or whatever the heck later on. And another trainer. Dig a hole! I think you're going to be doing the digging, Worker Jeff. You're going to be digging your own grave. Out comes Rock and Rolla. Very easy for Poop Leo to take down. Oh, by the way, how actually healed me up? How nice. And his second Pokemon is a Mudbray. If there was a hole here, I'd want to crawl into it. I want to dig a hole and hide. Uh, okay. Well, I think that's all the trainers, so let me go talk to the first guy, or the karate guy, and see if we can battle him now. Looks like he did what I asked to beat all of the trainers in this tunnel, huh? Well then, my Z-Power Challenger, do you want to compare Zs with me? We'll see whose Z is the best. Then let us have a Z-Battle to Z-Prove who has the best Z-Moves. All right, Pokeball Z, let's go. That's a good answer, but I hope you're ready. My Z-Power is not to be trifled with. Our full force Z-Power competition begins now. And here we have Black Belt Greg. He's only got one Pokemon. Shoutouts to any Gregs out there. And he's got a Hairy Mama. That's gonna be pretty easy to take down. I might even just use my Z-Move right here, since that's kind of the whole point of this battle, right? Now, his guy is level 23. My guy, level 30. Let's go for some Z-Power action. That sounded very weird. And let's do some Hydro Vortex. Let's check out the damage. And not a one-shot. We got so close. He's gonna use Knock Up right there. I guess it'll knock off my Mystical Water. Or I, I don't know if that's what it does. Uh, let's just go for a Water Plunge right here. Finish this guy off. Harry Mama, pretty awesome, but... He's dead. And Tommy, level 23. Z comparison complete. This guy is very obsessed with the, the Z things here. Well, let's see if we get some kind of reward for doing this one. I'm, I'm guessing we will. Very well done. That is some real Z power. Your Z is the most Z of any Z. Let me award you with this token to show you how highly I value and respect your Z. Thanks, man. Uh, Max Revive. Okay, that's pretty cool. There are probably other Z trainers like me out and about in Alola. If you want to achieve the ultimate in Z, then search them out and challenge them all. I'll do what I can, but let's go back and, I guess, uh, exit the place now. Later, Hal, I'm getting out of here. I don't know if this is going to put us directly in Kone Kone City. Oh, I guess it's going to put us in Route 9. Route 9, short and sweet. Well, uh, Route 9 Police Station, don't fight, don't meet anyone's eyes. I guess there's no battles on this one. How short are we talking? What? Yo, the police officer's breaking their own rules. I haven't had any cases, so I'm bored. How about a battle? I probably shouldn't have Poopleo up front anymore, because we're out of the Diglett Cave, we're level 30. We need to be training other people right here. You are challenged by police officer Haruki. Well, bring it on, you crud. I guess we'll try to wreck him. Never mind, having Poopleo up front's fantastic, because we're up against Growlithe. Although, Frank could have also dealt with this guy pretty well. This is the case. Or not! Oh, I remember this building from the demo. Or maybe this is like the same building as the one from the whatchamacallit? If it's not urgent, could you come back later? Sorry, but I'm on my break right now. Okay, so I guess we can't really do much inside here quite yet. Or can we talk to this guy? Yeah, we can. If you ever get lost, just check the town map. I depend on it regularly. Okay, so I, I don't remember if this is from the demo or if there's a place just like this in the first city, but either way, let's just uh, get out of here. And if you look at the bottom screen on the map, yes, it is indeed very small right here. I think this leads off to another place, though. The dead can sleep in peace here. Here in the shadow of Tapu Lele's sacred ruins, the ruins of life. The way uh, they say that's why Memorial Hill was built here long ago. Huh, okay. This way to Memorial Hill and beyond it, the Ruins of Life. Very cool. Uh, we've got another sign down here. This is an obvious hidden item. We've got an X accuracy, and it looks like there's also a spot to fish down here. No bubbles in it, so I'm going to avoid it. That guy's a trainer. Right here, we've got a netball. 
And we got probably some trainer tips. Let's see if that says anything. On the screen where you select a ride Pokemon. Oh, that's the thing so many of you told me about. But we got that set up. So we got the D-pad set up for all that. So let's go battle this guy. I keep repeating fair battles with Pokemon and trainers. What kind of person is a fisherman? You are challenged by fisherman Mike. He's got a chin chow. Easy peasy. Joy when I hook it. Sadness when it gets away. If you're going to Kony Kony, you've got to stop by Kahuna Olivia's shop, right? She sells stones you can use to evolve or on Pokemon to make them evolve. Cool, so we could buy more stones if we actually needed them. I don't really need them, but it looks like we're at the entrance to Kony Kony City. So we've made a lot of progress today. Holy crud, we went through the Diglett Cave, we went through an entire trial. A lot happened today, so thank you all so much for watching. We're going to come back next time and go inside Kony Kony City and see if we can get this whole grand trial thing completed. I'll see you guys then. Take care.